Today I'm going through five of Mr. B's top YouTube growth tips. And once you get to the end of this video, you can use them too. Number one is to make sure that every video is better than the last one. In fact, Mr. Beast recently released a tweet about this. Mr. Beast sent out a tweet that basically said, small YouTubers should spend more time thinking of ideas and that they should double the time they put into filming. His advice is to make 100 videos and improve something small with each video. He said it didn't matter what that improvement was, but just to improve with each video. And according to Mr. Beast, you'll become a YouTube sensation. Da -da. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> he said that you'll be in a different league when you finish. In an interview with Creator Insider, Mr. Beast hinted that he really believes YouTube gives views to videos that deserve those views. Uh, in fact, he pretty much said if you aren't getting views, then your videos likely stink and you can see if your video retention is low and uh, confirm that fact that you do indeed stink. Hmm. Thanks, Mr. Beast. The lower the video retention, the stinkier the video. And um, no, I don't know if that's a real word. I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, but uh, let's let's hear how bad uh, we are right from Mr. Beast himself. Hmm. With the videos I was making when I was a smaller creator, I genuinely felt like, ah, you know, the algorithm hates me or this is unfair. But I just wasn't making content that deserved to get views. I don't know a nice way to put it. So I'm glad I'm talking about myself because anyone else I'd feel bad. But the video sucked. Like, mm. I mean, you just look at the retention graphs. People would click off at the beginning. People didn't know sometimes what they're clicking on. And like, if I wasn't retaining a viewer, just why would it make sense for you to promote it? Like, why would you promote a 10 minute video that people watch on average a minute and a half? It just doesn't make sense. Now, if the beast has not crushed your spirits, let's continue to tip number two. So you want to have a clear vision for why people should watch your video. Mr. B said that right up front, he makes sure he lets people know why they should watch this video. And if you can't think of a reason why people should watch your video, they probably can't think of one either. Tip number three is to stay humble. Now, um, he may not have actually pointed this out, but uh, it's definitely a secret to his YouTube success. So stay humble on the come up and maybe you won't have to come down. You know what I'm saying? Number four is getting right into it. Mr. Beast doesn't do a big long intro that makes you want to pull your hair out. He gets right into the meat of things. I'm totally cutting out anything that doesn't provide major value just because of Mr. Beast and it's already having a positive effect on my watch time even though it's still a very, very, a very sad side indeed. Hmm. Number five is not being afraid to delegate. Mr. Beast doesn't do everything on his own. He spends a lot of time filming with his friends and he doesn't make the entire video all about him. So if you have a friend or maybe a family member that you want to bring into the video, it makes it a lot better. Plus it guarantees at least one other person will probably watch it. Hmm. Yeah, that too. Bonus beast tip number six, get into the data. Know thy numbers. Number one thing that you want to know is the average view duration. How long are people actually watching your video? It doesn't matter if your video is 10 minutes long. If people are only watching one minute, then your percentage rate is going down. So quit trying to make long videos so you can get another ad boop, it popped in there. Say no, if it's not worth putting in there, cut it out the video. So that's all I got for you on this video. YouTube told me that you would like this one, so check it out.